Winter has come and the Templars are under siege in their final stand against the French King as they have been pinned down in their final stronghold in France. What's up Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with another and part of the Templar series and as I mentioned it is the final part. Uh, if you have seen the last part then you saw that the Templars were defeated in the field for the first time against the Grand Armies of the French King. And now with the remains of his army he is marching against the Templars final stronghold here in this city. And it is uh, the Templars aim obviously if they can defeat the king here, if they can kill the king who is uh, in this general unit over here, then they will march on Paris and they have, they can just, they will in place a new ruler on the throne. One more pious than this, con this current king, one that uh, has uh, positive uh, relations with the Templars. But if the French king obviously wins, then the Templars will be destroyed, dissolved, and their wealth will become his. So I hope you guys enjoy the siege, and uh, if you do, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. But yes, yeah, so I hope you guys have been enjoying this mini-series. Uh, it is coming to an end. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've enjoyed having a little bit of a journey with these Templars. And, uh, I mean, obviously many of them have died, but many have come to replace their ranks. But it is, uh, we are here at an end now. And, uh, it will be interesting to see what happens. Um, so yeah, also don't forget to join the Discord. Uh, the link will be down below in the description. If you want to join the Discord and get involved in, uh, some scenario battles. Or just come and play some custom. Or just come and chat to, uh, some, uh, to me and some of the other guys in the Discord. About Total War or just... Just about anything. So, uh, yep, yeah, I will leave that there in the description if you want to check that out. But we have the first units landing on the walls now. We have Bavzonian swords. Uh, these are just some pretty cheap swords. They will uh, certainly make a bit of damage to start with, but they will not be the ones to break through, most likely. These are pretty. They, they're, they're, well, most of the units are tier one, um, but these guys are just. Uh, they're pretty crap. We'll just put it like that. They are not great. Um, but they will be facing up some order swords first, uh, and they've got some crusader spears on the uh, sergeants on the far flank. The uh, artillery over here barely fired, but it has managed to take out two of oh, if I can find it. Overshooting, obviously, unlike this catapult, while that uh, has hit two catapults. So I mean, that's pretty impressive. I mean, already hitting two uh, is certainly going to damage it. Oh, that was a good hit into the infantry there. Um, taking out a couple of dismounted chevaliers. That's an excellent hit, actually. Certainly a good unit to go after as well. Um, they are a very elite unit. But it does look like the French are starting to get most of the troops off the walls. Got Brabazonian first. I presume they're like from Flanders or Brabant. I mean, this siege, uh, this winter siege is great with the snow falling. It's just awesome. Even though we're in the height of summer, we have snow falling. Um. Well, we're high to winter here in the UK. Guess somewhere in the world it might be winter, I guess. Southern Hemisphere. That's how it works, right? I'm, I believe. But anyway, so yeah, here's the first clash. Berserk, Brabazonians, fighting against the Order Swords. Balance of power, by the way, is massively uh, in favour of the French. Uh, they have nearly... Well, five, they have about 4,500 men to about 3,000... Templars and their like and they're at well I say allies but it's just crusader sergeants the crusaders you could call them almost here we go the first clash over here we have more Brazonians fighting against uh, crusader spears that was an awesome shield just saw it there there he is again whether these guys will break through is unknown I mean swords do well against spears so they might have an okay, but the towers are certainly going to help. These towers, I mean, they're firing like machine guns uh, at the Somme, to be honest. And they they don't hold up. They will carry on firing. We've got uh, archers over here. We've got some Crusader marksmen. These guys are firing all the way up there onto that wall. All the troops are just staying up there, getting off the walls. There you go. It's a nice volley. As it hits the first tower there. It's just crumbled and some men fell to their deaths. That was unfortunate. So, yeah, I think they took out quite a few men. I mean, this unit had already taken casualties, but extra casualties is always good. We've got these uh, ribolds here. More ribolds. 
Uh, the most elite unit that's inside the walls is the Sergeant at Arms. With the fleur de lises of France. They will do great things. And here we go. We can watch as the charge comes in. And they clash with the Crusader Spears. I mean, they'll hold the line for a while with these Crusader Spears. That's a thick line back there. It's about three, four men deep. Um, I mean, it's actually a lot deeper there over here. I'm just realized. I think the formation broke up. We'll have to see whether these Sergeant at Arms can break through. We've already got spears breaking here, but these are the peasanty sort of spears. Pieton, Levies. Um, we've got more spears over here. Get ready. I basically have all of these choke points uh, blocked off. Um, but I've not got many much in reserves, unlike the French. The French have a lot in reserves, and they have halberds, cavalry, all sorts. All sorts of tricks that they can use to break through this line. Hold back the Frenchies. If we fight on long enough, they'll eventually surrender. It's in their blood. The Frenchies got to surrender. They just love it too much. Their favorite color after blue is white after all. But these Spears over here beating these Brabazonians, which is good for the rest of the line then, because I think they're fighting mainly... Brazonia, uh, Brabazonians on the rest of the line. But I mean, this one is aided by the tower, which is like firing rapid fire constantly. But, I mean, look at that. Um, if I can. If I, look at that flag. That is awesome. I don't know. That's an angel fighting something. I presume it's a demon or something like that. Maybe a. Maybe the French. Maybe a Frenchman. They are basically the devil. But you can see here the tower is being captured by the French ever so slowly. And I think the towers are about to be captured. I mean, it's slowly going that way. Or it looks like the Brabazonians are broken, which is good. Um, it's just the Ribolds left in here now. But this is only the uh, the rubbish stuff being sent in first by the French. This is just the just the uh, cannon fodder, as we'll put it. And there you go, the towers are gone, and uh, that's that's good for the uh, French because they can now spill troops into this this way and threaten this flank of this sword unit if they wanted to. They've now got some more revolts going in. That's good for them. I start setting some archers up if I was the French as well. Like, they need to get some archers upon these walls, possibly, and just start focusing down, like, reserve units or units on the flank that are engaged. Got some good potential uh, options here. What have we got coming through now? We've got dismounted Chevaliers, French Chevaliers. So we've got some more nasty stuff coming up now. Uh, we've not got the, like, Tier 2 Chevaliers just yet, which is a shocking true. We haven't had the pole arms yet. The sergeants yet to come in. More Brabazonians, actually. Surprised he didn't send them up first. More, and then Brabazonian spears over here as well. But um, we will see what happens. And let's go back, deep delve back into this conflict down here. As the snow keeps falling. It does look gorgeous with the snow falling down, I won't lie. These Order Swordsmen, they're basically uh, Templar trainees, squires, trying to hold these guys back, defending them for their masters. Defending their masters from this, I don't know, what should we call it? I don't know, devil, Devil's Force? I don't know, it's not really, it's just a French force. Evil Frenchmen, that's what you could call them. They are pretty evil Frenchmen. They do eat snails and frogs. That's pretty horrible.
But I mean, I think looking at this line, his line's holding quite nicely, and he's allowing these archers here to just fire into this huge blob that's going on here. And I mean, I mean, Sergeant to Arms are uh, they're doing okay. They could be doing better, but this is becoming a big blob here. Um, stuff. I mean, the French are holding off here. They're not going to do anything just yet here. There's been a bit of an engagement uh, with the loss of one Crusader Sergeant to a lot of uh, levies. We're now firing at the cavalry all the way back here, which is now into the city. Not a bad target. Um, certainly blooding them up is not a bad idea. These French Chevaliers definitely need uh, keeping in check. As we can see, more units have fleeing back here, so ribolds are falling back. We've got some under French Chevaliers falling back. Sending more units in. The weak. These order swordsmen over time are going to get more and more tired, making it more and more easy. For the French to kill uh, the Temp, well, I say the Templars off, but it's not even the Templars yet. It's just the Order of Swordsmen. These archers going into combat when they shouldn't have been. I think it's because just because their units now out of range, it's this cavalry. It's just out of range, so they're chasing it forward. So need to get these archers back, pull them back. The spears over here starting to lose uh, decisively, so swords have been sent in, more order swords over here. Flanking on these uh, ribalds. Let's look at the losses quickly. So, I mean, the French have lost about nearly a thousand men, and the uh, Templars have lost about 200. That's a good start for the Templars, a very nice early lead. Well, it's not a lead yet, but they're closing the gap on the, uh, on the units. But they have been killing off all the trash stuff. And they've been using up a lot of their ammo uh, on their bows. So it'll be interesting to see whether they uh, can hold out for the more stronger assaults. But here we go. We've got the cavalry coming in here now. Trying to break through the shield line. Not a bad idea. It's slowly breaking through. Knocking men over. I mean, lost about 12 men doing it. They did kill about 20 charging. Definitely would have been a good idea to send his infantry in after that shield line broke. Because they're just reforming it now. Over here, look at this. Two units losing decisively to one unit of Order Swordsman. This Order Swordsman unit's done excellent. Hold the line! For God! And Christendom. You mean, you'd be worn out at this point if you're an order swordsman. You're fighting in some decent armor. It's pretty heavy. You'd be knackered. So give me a give me a breather. I just need a need a breather quickly. You've got the catapult. Look how close this catapult's getting. Someone better be shooting this catapult. Got swords, uh, sorry, spears breaking here. We now got uh, another unit of swords coming in. Order swords are going to be mobilized. And here we go, order swords going in. They will engage. Then over on this flank, uh, I think the French have been a ch done a couple more charges with their cavalry. We now have Hospitalis coming up. One of the elite units of Hospitalis with a silver chevron. They've been a lot, been through a lot. They've been through Akka. Ambushes from uh, Cathars. Wars with, uh, battles with mercenaries and the French. Now it's come down to this. This is where their uh, experience will be tested to the limits. Outnumbered. But not outmatched. Though these uh, Crusader Spears may be outmatched. The ones over here aren't though. They've been holding back these goddamn sergeants for forever. Sergeant at arms. Whatever else is in his chevaliers I can see in here. 
Got more Chevrolets back here already. But they are starting to break through this uh, order swordsman unit now, which is good to see for if you're rude for the French. They can certainly get a unit through this gap here. And they can get in behind. I mean, there is a unit of order swords ready, but might be worth going for it. And here we go. The long-awaited arrival of the crossbows and the uh, bows. So, I mean, there you go. So, I mean, the French are sending forward their uh, archers. I mean, they hate to use archers to the French. They would prefer their cavalry and uh, heavy knights, don't they? So, I mean, sending an archers forward to save the knights. That's just not on. But this line of defenders now looking thicker than the attackers. Imagine just carrying on this assault. Like, yep, yeah, I've got to kill, like, hundreds of men. And we're outnumbered. But it's fine. France is with us. While the Crusaders are like, God is with us. Actually, probably both sides are probably like, God is with us. But God is probably with neither side. He's probably just shaking his head, tutting, just like... How dare these fools fight each other? My creations, I don't know. Get a very uh, philosophical now. They need some shock infantry in here. Uh, I mean, the cavalry is doing okay, but they need shock infantry in here just to push through. Ah, oh, there you go, dismounted Chevrolets. As I sp speak of the devil. There are some shock infantry in here. Um, we've got another dis uh, order swordsman ready. This one is losing decisively. So it's unlikely to survive much longer. Well, that usually is what it means when something's using, losing decisively. It's not long for this world. So good job there, Pope. We've got uh, catapults firing in here. That was a really good hit, actually, on those order swordsmen all the way back here. They are now maneuvering so they can't be hit again. And there you go, they have broken through this final choke point. It's taken them hundreds of lives. And here you go, they're now fighting the Order of Swords in the next line. I think you can flank around these boxes. Uh, you can certainly walk through them, so um, the French just need to do that and they're in. Uh, really. I can't deploy there, like stretch the line across, but you can definitely walk through that area. So if they'd realised that, then they would have uh, they would have been in. They wouldn't have to actually engage this unit full on, uh, front on, sorry. Archers here caught up in the fight, they need to get back. And they're sort of doing it, so you can, they're breaking the boxes, that's all they've got to do. Imagine blocking an axe with a sword, it's pretty impressive. Oh, didn't block it that time, did you? Also, imagine an axe swing being, being stopped by a sword to start with, like you're... That's a pretty heavy, like, weapon you're throwing on a sword. You'd probably just break it in two. But these uh, Crusader Sergeants over here are finally losing. They've been, they're very tired. Um, they've sustained a lot of casualties. Not a good sign. Uh, men fleeing, I see. Oh, that might be... What is, who is that? Oh, it's the spears over here. Ah, okay. Well, the swords are now in combat here. It's just the swords. Holding back Chevrolets left and right. And Sergeants... There we go, another unit of the French breaking, even though they're losing here, the Order Swordsmen, they're still managing to break stuff. Some dismounted Chevaliers breaking, that's huge. That's a really elite unit. I mean, it's a sword unit variant, not the uh, axe unit variant, which is now engaged here, but still a big win. As you can see, they're flanking around ever so slowly around this uh, formation. Need some bows to fire into this unit. They're, uh, they haven't got a shield, uh, a shield on, so they could just be like shot to pieces. Spears here breaking. Um, the Hospitalis here and the Spears doing a really good job breaking these units. And the Templars are looking strong right now. They are looking strong. They've killed. They've nearly uh, evened up the, the battle. 
They've lost 700 and they've killed 1,500. I mean, these archers are doing a nice job. I mean, they're focusing down these uh, crossbows on the wall. They've got a really good angle. Look at that. Firing down into that uh, front line of the Horde of Swordsmen. That'll probably be doing a lot of work. Oh! Some poor guys getting hit by arrows. But yeah, the marksmen, the Crusader marksmen, not allowing them to have an easy time of it. I mean, I shoot them, could shoot the marksmen. These guys are nearly out of ammo, though, so is it worth it? These ones are also shooting in that direction. Focusing these guys down. There you go. Archers now spent on ammo. Will they hit? They'll have to hold the line. They're being sent in. I'm surprised archers have swords, to be honest. They're like, they often are like dirks, which is like a, a, a knife. Uh, knife type thing. We've now got more all the swords going up because they're gonna break this unit as well as that uh, Dismounted French Chevalier. That's insane. And here we go. We pushed out here. This was actually a mistake. I didn't want this to happen um, But I gave them the order to attack the, the spears. So Yeah, and now the French the French have seen what's about to happen Well the French have seen it and yeah, this is gonna end poorly And these hospitalers, yeah, are now getting just Cut to pieces from two sides. And there you go, losing decisively already. That unit's gone. That is gone. And now they could batter through this line here of uh, spears if they wanted to. With cavalry. Quite easy. And now... Uh, the defense is kind of looking very shaky. Looking very shaky indeed. And you can see the Templars are starting to fall back to the second layer of defense, which is made up of like three ramps. Actually, maybe more than that. It's about four or five ramps. But there you go. Yeah, the Templars, uh, the, Templars the hospital is gone. The spear's now wavering. They're gone. And this choke point is now lost. All because of that one mistake it is lost. This unit here is also losing. Look at that. Crossbows are uh, still firing on these guys up there. I mean, they got off the walls as well, so I couldn't... I, well, I could still shoot them, but I was like, well, I want to get the archers out of here and keep their ammo because the cavalry might come round. And they broke here, did the spears. So we've got a huge blob of infantry here. Are those Sergeant at Arms still alive? I don't think they are. No, I don't think they are. I think the Sergeant at Arms died. Wow. One of the more elite units and it's gone. But yeah, so now it's just down to these two choke points here. I'm slowly trying to retreat units out of this fight. But yeah, this unit already losing is now just going to get, well, stabbed in the side, if I can show you. And there you go. A charge into the side. Cutting these men down. Excellent. Now the rest of the French army can come inside. And there's a considerable amount of it left. I mean, it's about a thousand man difference. I mean, the French love cavalry. They've got plenty of their ammo left for archers. They've got some pretty good elite saw uh, swords and uh, axes left. And they've got their halberds, which the Templars don't have an answer to. These archers are just left here to condemn. They've been condemned. They've just got to hold the line. Well, well, while the rest of the army retreats. But, I mean, it's all gone now, apart from this sort of swords unit, which could get out. If it can win this fight, it could get out. Kill any man wearing blue. Especially blue helmet men, because that's definitely not a thing. Yes, he can lose his head for that. There we go, those Brabazonians are gone. And the or the Order Swords could fall back if they wanted to. They really could. But I was, uh, when playing this battle, I was like, right, here's our chance. And I'm going to, I haven't given the order, but here it goes. They're now going to flank in the side of these uh, Chevaliers, and I'm going to try and 
break them eventually. I think I was going to go for the crossbows and undecided no, but this is just, it's showing my flank to the crossbows and they're just plucking off men left, right and centre. But if we can get some kills on these chevaliers, and that's equally good. Squish them between archers and order swords. These sergeants returned, uh, and they look at that. The order swords are gone. The men are broken and running for their lives. And everyone's coming in over the towers instead of just using the gate, which is just a lot more easier. But oh well, who cares? We don't mind, we don't mind. Um, but yeah, so we've got, I think we've got two units left of Order Swords. One's very depleted. Um, we've got lots of Hospitalers left. We've got Templars, all the Templars, and we've got more Hospitalers and Archers. And we've yet to use all our crossbows. And we have our Shock Infantry up here. It'll be interesting to see whether this, these two units can get lots of kills. They are certainly going to be needed for the Anti-Cav. Because the Cavalry's still looking really strong. And here you go, you're falling back the Templars, we're going to get one Templar unit back and we're going to replace it with the Hospitallers because we prefer the Templars. We want the Templars to survive. I mean, they are actually getting hit by artillery. Or have been hit by artillery, these poor men. Look at them all bloodied up in the white snow. White on re and red on white, looking gorgeous. Gorgeous! As the snowstorm continues. Just look at this, look at them bad. They've got crossbow bolts in their shields. This poor bad unit. It's got to hold again and... What can it see down there? Chevaliers. More Chevaliers. There you go. The order swordsmen are broken. And the archers are broken. I think the cavalry actually just did a charge there. I just missed that. I do apologize. Yeah, the cavalry did a charge on these uh, Templars. They're down to 80 men before the infantry's arrived. They did get a couple of the cavalry, but not many. And it looks like we're going to have some uh, dismounted Chevaliers. The Axe variant uh, coming up first. This is not a bad unit to send up first. They will uh, certainly break through. Well, they won't break through, but they'll certainly chop up a lot of these men on their initial charge. Hold the line! Oh, that was actually a good volley just before they charged in. This unit also is pretty, could be quite tired, so they might rout, rout quite quickly. But yeah, I'm not seeing many Templars fall. The Templars just like, we had harder challenges in Acre. Men, hold the line. These Frenchies won't best us. And here we go, we got some more Chevaliers, but this is the sword variant coming in. And now with the, uh, with the combo sword and uh, axe, these guys might br uh, break through, but the axe unit's already broken. The uh, archers here still firing down some horrendous volleys. Or horrific, I should say. That's better. Horrendous makes it sound like they actually are doing a bad job. But they're doing a very good job. We've got crossbows here ready. Uh, they can't really fire. The Templars really need to go down a little bit further down this uh, ridge. But I mean, at the same time, you want to kind of keep that high ground as much as possible. We've got uh, cavalry over here getting ready. Are they going to come and charge the old swords? Quite possibly. They're the only unit on this front line not in shield wall. Mainly because I just... Didn't think they were going to be needed in shield wall, but there you go. They're in shield wall now. Unit on the far left now breaking that small depleted unit of order swordsman breaking. No surprise there. It's seen a lot of action already. You've got dismounted French chevaliers getting ready to come and fight these dismounted hospitalers. And they fall them back. To allow the uh, hospitalers to get ready which is very good of them isn't it very good of the French just let the let the uh, t well the Templar forces set up again Templar and Hospitalers we've got bows over here firing what was this this Brabazonian spears here it just focus these guys down if they're gonna just stand here and take the uh, take the hits let them take the hits there you go the Templars have routed more units they're celebrating and now oh Another charge from Babazonians, and now we've got more Chevaliers coming in. Excellent. But look at the blood on the floor. I mean, that is horrific. It'll be like a slip and slide for these Templars. Four off oh, three waves so far. Could they hold off another wave? 
They get, are getting pretty depleted now. There's only 73 of them. They've only lost seven men in combat. Wow, they were 80 men after all the bombarding and charging from the cavalry. We've got dismounted hospitals over here. They're fighting uh, dismounted chevaliers. Brabazonian spears as well. We've got Brabazonians here fighting Templars. Surprised the, order, uh, the cavalry's not charging onto this order of swords yet. I mean, it is up a hill, so it will slow the cav charge down. Well, it's not a cavalry, that's why. It's Brabazonian spears. They are running out of infantry. Infantry reserves, anyway. Got some sergeants. They've got uh, some pole arms. They'll be useful. And the cavalry's over here as well. I mean, I don't know really what the cavalry's doing. Oh my god, we've got sergeants here as well. It's going to be interesting. It's not long left in this battle. About 15 minutes. But if we have a look over here, it looks like uh, most of my archers are out of ammo. My bows are out of ammo. Yeah, it's just down to the crossbows now. And this is a good play I'm seeing by the French. So the French are getting their archers up onto this wall over here. This is a really good uh, angle. Because they can focus down this either this hospitality unit. They can focus down these uh, Templars here. Or the Crusaders here. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, they are actually capping this uh, tower as well. I've just realised. But I mean, yeah, there's Templars are starting to lose now in this combat here. They're just so tired. 62 of them left. Templars need some support, really. What? It, uh, let me know in the comments, what is your favourite Holy Order? Is it the Templars, the Hospitallers? A different one that I haven't possibly named, mentioned. Um, I'd be interested to know. I, I personally do like the Templars. I think they are one of my favourite. That classic uh, red and white is just amazing. But I mean, I will admit the Hospitalis in their black and white also look very good. As a Newcastle United fan, I've got to appreciate the black and white. So, uh, and if you don't know who Newcastle United are, they're an English football team. Or if you're from America, you'd say soccer. But... I'd spit on you if you say soccer. You have no right to change the name of the sport. We created it. <laughs> Angry British man would say. We we made we made the name of the sport. You can't change it. But it looks like the engagement over here on the far flank has begun. We've got Brabazonian spears here. We've got some uh, some shock infantry as well. Some chevaliers coming in. Definitely is enough to break through this sword infantry unit, I believe. I mean, there is some shock now coming over. We've got some uh, hospitalers here. What we've we got here? We've got crossbows. Don't know exactly what they're doing. Oh, they're, I think they might be getting closer just to shoot at these uh, this cavalry here. Not a bad angle to go for or bad target to go for. And there we go, some support for the Templars has arrived. It, was, it came in the form of the other shock infantry unit. They charged down the hill, routed these chevaliers, but here comes some more uh, French chevaliers with their axes. When one chevalier disappears, another one arrives. We're now firing our crossbows all the way up here at these archers. Uh, I'm going to say it's not going so well. I think the Certainly the archers are uh, probably winning that engagement. I don't know. I can't see many dead crossbows down there. They certainly could win that engagement if they shot them. I think they're shooting um, the uh, infantry. It's not a, not a bad idea. The final unit of Templars is coming up. Coming to support these uh, hospital knights here. Yeah, I think the archers actually are shooting this, uh, this unit of hospitalers, Which is about to break. And here we go. The Templars arrive just in time. As uh, the Chevaliers break through. But the Templars arrive. 
And they will hold the line. But they may also get focused down now by archers. It's a risk. It's one of those, do you fall back and give them the ground? But at that doing that, you compromise all these other choke points. Or do you stand your ground and just take the hits? Um, I mean, it's very close to numbers now. It's 500 man difference. And we've got uh, archers coming up over here. Coming to support. The Templars here, I think, routed. That's not a good sign. But this, uh, yeah, these slopes have become a bit of a kill, killing zone. Like, it is hard for the French to get up here. Imagine just walking up a hill and then, like, being faced with, like, one of the most elite units in in Christendom. These uh, hospitals have held back another assault. Got some Brabozonian spears here ready. We've got a tree on fire. Got a tree on fire as the Templars fight some uh, sergeants. You couldn't tell if this tree's actually lost its leaves or not because we are in winter, so trees do lose, lose their leaves. There you go, that's uh, Nature 101 there for you from Pope. Trees do lose their leaves in winter. I mean, these ones haven't. <laughs> but th that one had. And so had that one when it lost. The, I think that one got set alight as well. More trees on fire over here. I think it's because of the arch towers. No one's using fire ammo, so it must be the arch towers just firing their uh, nuclear-tipped fire arrows that just kill someone instantly if they hit someone. These uh, Order Swordsmen are holding back like Chevrolets quite nicely. I mean, they are on a very steep hill. This is probably one of the steepest hills. But yeah. Oh, I've just seen the officer of the Order Swordsman. His breastplate looks awesome. It's got like a gold like uh, cross. Looks awesome. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good. Uh, you can see now I'm trying to do a flanking move here with my dismounted Hospital Knights. I'm going to send them along this wall. Then flank around because we can get down here and surround this entire flank. And we will rout it. I mean, the uh, Chevrolets are already losing decisively. And the Brazonian Spears are wavering. So, we could rout that side quite easily. Not looking so good here in the middle. I mean, this, uh, the Archers are losing. But, I mean, the Hospitals is the winning somehow. I mean, the Chevrolets are losing as well. But there you go. The Templars are gone. Here, the final Templar unit that had to be sent in is gone. I mean, there are still Templars still alive. I believe they are here. Yep, they're in that far, ch one of the far choke points there. The crossbow's been focusing down those archers on the wall, but they can't get rid of them. We've now got an arch unit being sent in to hold back Chevrolet. So this is where the defenses are starting to go. This is a viable choke point now for the French to use. These Chevaliers need to get a move on, get pushing. Because they can get all the way around behind loads of these defences. As could the cavalry, wherever their cavalry's gone. I don't actually know if it's still alive. They've got their fr uh, French general. That's it. So you can see now units are starting to fall back. We've now got hospitals falling back when possible. I think some other units are going to start to do it. There's the cavalry all the way over here. Not a bad uh, area because now we can just charge on this line here and attack anything. I think it, what's he, what's he even going for? I'm not even quite sure. He could have got round and attacked some of his units. Here they come, the Brabazonian spears are coming up. And we're going to have a charge from the general, it would seem. Templar bodyguard. What a weird formation that is. It's like three different sections. But the Templar bodyguard's arriving. Wasn't the greatest of charges. I think for all of a sudden, for some reason, they slowed down at the last moment. 
And uh, yeah, they didn't really do so well. Didn't do so hot. But they are actually making the unit lose decisively. So that's the main thing. That is the main thing. Um, this unit, this uh, choke point here, they've also decided to fall back of the French. Not happy with the losses they're taking. They've got these, uh, they've got these uh, halberds here that have been pretty much beaten up. I think they didn't go in with their halberds down. So they, they lost a lot of men from that mistake. But we are trying to fall back to more units. We've got some uh, archers falling back. Some dismounted hospitalers. The archers are going to have to hold here. Just to make sure that they don't do the same thing like the Brabazonian spears did here and cha make chase. So these archers m will die here. There's 67 brave men. We've got the crossbows with so much ammo left. These guys have so much ammo, but they're having to stand here and fight just to hold back these chevaliers to get the rest of the infantry back. But we can fall back to this capture point here. I mean, it's literally one entrance. It is going to be tough for the French to break through. But here we go. So we now got shock infantry coming in. They've, uh, they have to be honest. These, uh, the Templar bodyguard is fighting even with the spears. But with this shock infantry in to help, it should help massively. So we've also got another flanking force here of shock infantry that looks like it's going to come in and help. And there we go. Hospitalers helping out their brothers, the Templars. And helping their uh, Grand Master get out of combat. And there he goes. He's out. I mean, he's lost a few men. And there we go. Those Brabazonian spears have been routed. But, I mean, here come the French uh, cavalry. Are they going to send their cavalry in? No, no, they're not. Although they were going to, they haven't. So I'm going to quickly fast forward because, uh, well, it's just a bit of, like, resetting for the final stand to allow the uh, Templars one last chance of a pardon and uh, a ceasefire. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. And here we go. The Templars are being allowed to fall back. As are the Order Swords. No, they haven't fall, fallen back yet. There you go. Here they go. But the French cavalry's not going to allow it. The French King's... He's not a chivalrous man. And he's going to chase down these goddamn uh, Order Swordsmen. And they are damned by God, it would seem. Because they are going to get cut down and killed. But the fall of the Templars in history uh, is how you get Friday the 13th. Like that whole, like, all Friday the 13th is a bad date. Because the Templar, uh, uh, like, the leader of the Templars in the Paris, uh, I'm pretty sure, cursed the French king and the Pope uh, for their, well, basically, um, their, their just actions, basically, what they did to the Templars. Not being justified, really. Just for greed and gold. And uh, the French king, I believe, died within uh, a month. Uh, of some disease and then the Pope was dead within that year so the people did believe that it was the t curse of the Templars was the cause of their uh, of those two men dying and here we go another great charge from the cavalry so that's how you get Friday the 13th being seen as a bad day people are like oh Friday the 13th the Templars dying that's just bad in itself and also then um, the curse of the Templars almost equally uh, just as scary in a way I guess for certainly for superstitious religious medieval people at that time they'd be like oh no that's awful but yes yeah, so that's a good charge there by the cavalry but it has been uh, repulsed and they are about to waver and go to be honest these two units are tiny but yeah this is where we're holding now it's these final sort of like three choke points here so we've got a few units holding here got a unit of shock here they're firing archers and crossbows onto us just trying to get as many kills as possible I'm firing onto the cavalry making sure it will rout and die They need to get their halberds down. I don't think they are down. They are down. Good. They need to set these halberds in. They could certainly force back these hospitalers. And those cavalry just broke like that. Just like that. They saw the enemy and were like, nope, that's it. That's it. We're done. The Templars are charging. Uh, not the Templars. The hospitalers are charging in because they are true warriors and not cowards. And they will charge in. And there goes the shock infantry. That should route that cavalry for the final time. And they might be able to break through this uh, pike unit or this halberd unit. It's not the strongest. It is tier one, like most of the rest of the army. We now have uh, crossbows over here, coming up with the with the templars. 
But the French king has sent himself in, and look, these two units are losing decisively, or were. I mean, these uh, these halberds just don't do you any good. Or pole arms. They're also being shot in the side by crossbows, which certainly isn't helping the situation. But this is going to be the final stand of the Templars and their and their hospitalers and their brothers. This holy order has lasted long enough, long a long time, but it doesn't look like it's going to last much longer. I mean, looking at the numbers, it's very close. It's about half and half. But they, the French have cavalry left. I mean, they are actually winning on this flank. If they can route these two units, that's a big win. Then they could flank around. I mean, there's very little melee infantry left for the French. They've got small units dotted all over the place that they really need to bring up. These halberds are starting to lose. Or could they do it? Surely not. We've now got uh, the Templars here coming over to help their brothers. They're getting cut down by... Uh, the French King. And it looks like the French King is going to have the final say on these Templars here. But not until the uh, Hospitalers send in their uh, shock infantry to try and help cut down this King. Can they kill the King? They're going to charge into these shock infantry over here now. Who had broken these two units. Those two units did then return quite quickly. And now they're being surrounded. And that was a really good charge by the cavalry. A lot of knocked over troops there. I don't know how many of them are going to get up. But I mean this cavalry is losing troops as it goes. We've got the general in here. And there you go. The Grand Master is dead for the Templars. That is a lethal blow. For the uh, Templars, and that will probably spell their doom. We are breaking this uh, tiny unit. Well, these pole arms here, they are gone. It's now onto these crossbows here. I mean, the French king is still, like, desperately in combat. If he, like, loses that, he's in real trouble. We've got um, these crossbows holding back all of this infantry here. That is insane. And here we go. These units are starting to lose. Crossbows is being fired in. They're literally not giving these Templars like a minute's rest. They move on to the next unit. They're going to get fired on. And it's actually come down to the Hospitalers. They're going to wave the banner to the end. It's kind of ironic. It's the Templars like the main focus. And like the second rate uh, Holy Order is going to be the one that actually survives longest. And the French King there routing those crossbows. And that is kind of going to wrap it up, really. There is the final unit routing, and there we go. Everything is gone. And it is a valiant defeat for the Templars. They have failed, and they are dissolved and destroyed. Their, re their money and wealth will go to the French King. And he will use it to fund, I'm sure, more wars and his extravagant and unpious life. But yeah, we'll have a look at the end uh, results. So we've got these uh, dismounted uh, hospital knights over here on 228 kills. Oh, I do apologize. I'm like getting the hiccups for some random reason. Talking too too much probably is the reason why. Um, but yeah, so all the swordsmen are getting 136. My spears getting 130. Just that's pretty excellent. They're pretty cheap and awful. But yeah, 136, pretty good for the order swords. 147 for hospitalers is not bad at all. I think this one with 26 is the one that got like murdered by cavalry. 185 for the hospitalers, excellent. My archers all getting over 100 kills, nearly getting 150. Um, my crossbows getting 140, not too bad. Uh, the chevaliers for France getting 153 kills is not bad. The king getting 162 kills. Um, and then most of the uh, cheap spears and swords did pretty awful. Uh, the pole arms only getting like 40 kills. Um. And then it's the like the dismounted chevaliers getting 134, 200 kills for that one. That's excellent. Uh, and then the cavalry getting 134 and 126, and the archers did pretty well, getting 173 uh, as well. So well done to uh, France and Aiden, who was playing against France, for uh, beating the Templars once and for all. And uh, yeah, that is going to wrap up this mini series. I hope you enjoyed. If you have, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. This was the first siege in Siege Week, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we will be carrying this on till well Sunday at the end of next uh, this week. So uh, yeah, there'll be plenty more epic sieges. So I hope you guys enjoyed them all and this week. And I hope you have a really good day. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.